How wonderful is God's creation? This is the atmosphere around your brackets. This is your bracket, vision, mission, call and shared values. Our guiding principle, our pledge. This is who we are and what we do. This is one of our pledges being put in motion. These are the smart students. Good day, everyone. This is the presentation of Europe, the smart students of Europe. Presenting to you the smart that's been. In our content, we have the program identified, survey conducted, the activity performed, methods and materials, and the conclusion. The problem, the team identified that not all people sanitize or wash their hands after disposing of waste in a dustbin when they open the lid with their hands, even after education amid the COVID-19 safety protocols. The team conducted a survey within and around the school. The survey questionnaire, why are you not able to sanitize or wash your hands after disposing of waste in the dustbin? We took a sample size, which was 73 students. Fortunately, 63, 61 of them said they are not able to wash their hands after disposing of food inside the dustbin. Most of us here will be part of them, but some of us are forgetful. Whilst the 12 of them said they are able to remember and wash their hands. Majority of us here are so forgetful that we even touch the lid of a dustbin and go and sit behind our food and start eating, which is not hygienic. So using the results conducted from the survey, we decided to design a smart dustbin. This is to help students dispose of waste safely without touching the lid of the dustbin. So, designing the smart dustbin, we used the Arduino Uno board, the ultrasonic sensor, jumpers, we used the cord that will connect the computer to the Arduino Uno board so that the cord the codes could be uploaded into the Arduino Uno code. Then we use the 5 volt power battery and the jumpers, which is the connecting wire. In conclusion, the smart that's been designed to meet students' needs in disposing of waste safely without touching the lid of the dust. So as the presentation continues to scrap, we see the circuit diagram indicating the Arduino Uno board, the servo motor, and the ultrasonic sensor, which has been connected using the jumpers. That is what is appearing in front of us now. So you can see the diagrams with their names fully written on top of each of them. We are open for questions, suggestions, and recommendations. Thank you. So we get ready to watch the video of We the Smart Coders designing the Smart Dustbin.
So nice. This, we are the smart traders here, sitting in groups. Others are checking the food, whilst others are getting the components ready to start designing the smart dress. So you can see that is the Arduino board in front of me. So this is a team member showcasing the Arduino board. The ultrasonic sensor. The 5 volt power battery. The cord that will be connected to the computer, then to the Arduino board. And that's the jumper. So now we are connecting the Arduino Uno board to the ultrasonic sensor. And the reason why there's a computer in front of them is because connecting the Arduino Uno board to the ultrasonic sensor, each port has a special number they have to be connected to. And if they are not connected rightly, it's not going to work. That's why you can see a computer in front of us connecting. So that's the dust screen you can see over there. So in this is the Arduino Uno board and the cord that has been connected to the Arduino Uno board. So now they are getting ready to start putting the components into a corner of the dustbin. So a hole has been made in the dustbin so that the part of the ultrasonic sensor can be outside to sense anyone who is getting closer to the dustbin. So the rest of the team members are behind giving suggestions and support. So they are checking the codes on the computer, as I said, to make sure that it's connected brightly. So that's the servo motor, which is making some noise in the background. Which is moving after the codes have been uploaded into the Arduino Uno board. Now, after the uploading, they are still on the connection. And a thread and a script is needed for designing the smart dustbin. The thread will be placed in a part of the servo motor, which will be able to open the lid of the dustbin by itself. So this will also help in keeping personal hygiene. So as you can see, that's the ultrasonic sensor over there. So they are connecting the 5 volt power battery to the Arduino Uno board. So they are still on the connection. Everyone is participating. Oh, it's 
So the servo motor is behind the card of the dustbin. It's going to be attached to it, as you can see. So the children, this machine is to help open the lid of the dustbin with the stick. So that the servant is to attach to the dustbin. So everything has been connected. And now this is the testing part. You can see it's opening by itself, so this is also helping with personal hygiene. Thank you.